So last year, I saw a, uh, a picture that my parents sent me that a friend of theirs, who's actually a real woodworker, made, and it was a, uh, a multi-layer wooden Christmas tree, all made of, of flat stock that was cut out into like star sort of patterns. So when you put them all together into a cone, it looked like a tree, and it was really cool. And I saw that and thought, I could make that out of a laser. The tree is made of a whole bunch of stacked layers, and I designed the thing in Illustrator, so every one of those layers is actually a seven-pointed star made with the Illustrator uh, polygon tool, and uh, I used the pucker tool on that star to sort of make all the ends spiky and look like pine needles on a tree. So the first step with any thing that's laser cut like this, aside from actually cutting it out on the laser, uh, is to crack all of the pieces out of their cut sheets. Now as you can see, a lot of these need an awful lot of touch-up work. They've got like edges hanging off of them and all sorts of nastiness. So I have a set of files right here and it's going to take a while, but they all need to be cleaned up. So the real fun part about this base is how it all just sort of snap fits together. These two brackets right here, there's actually a thick side and a thin side. The thick side slots into this base, and then the central spine goes in next to it. It's a pretty tight fit, but it should be, holds it together. And then the other L bracket goes on the other side. The next big circle piece that has a plus sign in it, looks like, gets threaded all the way down the spire. And actually pushes over those L brackets to stabilize the base. You'll notice that some of these spacers have, instead of a rectangle, actually a plus sign in them. And there's only a handful of those. I think there's four. Yeah, here's the fourth one. And those form the bottom trunk of the tree. So they are going to go just far enough to cover all of the plus sign cross section. The bottom still has this cross on it, so one of the very last steps is to take the plain disc and just glue it over the bottom and that will lock all of this in place. In order to assemble the tree with all of these layers, you just start with the biggest layer, thread it onto the core because all of these layers have the properly sized rectangular hole in them. Like that. And then you put three of these spacers in between each layer. You want to alternate so that every other layer where the keyholes line up, they actually point in opposite directions. So here I have the keyhole pointed towards this, which means that I want the next layer to point down so that they're staggered. So find the top of this, point it the right way. and thread it on like that. So they're actually pointed in slightly different directions. And uh, all, the, all the way up, they will be staggered and it looks really nice. The only thing left to do is to glue the bottom onto the bottom, which just sort of anchors together all of the pressure fit stuff. Uh, drop a little bit of glue into this top uh, star piece just to make sure that they never like delaminate a little bit and 
this star that slots over the top gets these on either side of it just to finish it off and make it look a little nicer. You could probably get away with cyanoacrylate or something like that, but I'm going to actually be using some wood glue just to make it a little bit nicer. Along the edges of the tree, there are a lot of places where it, the laser didn't cut all the way through the wood completely, which meant that I had to sand and clean up a lot of the edges, which means that a lot of the edges of these tree limbs, I guess, are light at the bottom because that's where I had to sand it so it doesn't look charred anymore and it makes the whole tree look pretty irregular. So this is just like scratch cover polish and uh, I'm going to use that to basically just artificially darken all of these spots so the whole, the edges of all of the pieces of wood look the same before it gets polyurethane. Once you wait a couple days for the uh, polyurethane to dry, it ends up looking real nice. And of course, it's not a real Christmas tree, but it makes a great decoration around the house. <laughs>